Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a very interesting article that is to do with Warner Brothers and HBO Max and everything that's involved in terms of, you know, DC related content. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DC TV videos later this year so this is an article coming from deadline i'll leave the link in the description below to the article because it's an interesting read and i'm going to be breaking it down in this video it doesn't necessarily straight up affect the Arrowverse or specific DC projects, but it does mention them and it cites a very similar event to just how when the CW was taken over, loads of people were let go. And so this is the title of the article and you're going to understand how this links in. Lawmakers want DOJ to investigate Warner Bros. Discovery merger, claiming it harmed workers and reduced content choice, cited the Axe Batgirl film in a new letter. So there you have it. American lawmakers want the DOJ, which for you non-Americans is the Department of Justice, to investigate the Warner Bros and Discovery merger because when they merged together they obviously made some huge changes and it must be said straight away that isn't abnormal like there's normally huge structural changes or small changes to the way that companies operate or in this case how film studios operate but let's go ahead and read through this article and break it down talk about how it impacts our shows and also DC in general so Four Democratic lawmakers want the Justice Department to investigate Warner Brothers' discovery, claiming the merged company has harmed workers and reduced consumer choice, which I think is very true, and I think there is a lot of evidence that they could find to, to prove that this merger has harmed the workers and has definitely reduced consumer choice. So Senator Elizabeth Warren, who some of you guys know, and three other lawmakers wrote in a letter to the Attorney General and the DOJ Antitrust Chief that the merger appears to have enabled the company to adopt potentially anti-competitive practices that reduce consumer choice and harm workers in affected labor markets. It goes on to say that Warner Media and Discovery were combined last year in a transaction that was not challenged by the DOJ after a review. However, seeing how things have changed and how they've actually gone through with this merger, these lawmakers want to see them actually investigated about their practices because this is the quote from their letter. The company has the incentive and ability to eliminate broad swaths of its workforce, leaving workers with fewer choices for employment and advancement. They went on to cite the layoffs over the past year, including the shutdown of CNN Plus, as well as later cuts at CNN in other areas like ad sales as well. It would be unusual for the DOJ to essentially reopen a review of a merger so shortly after it has been completed, but lawmakers appear to have bolstered by Cantor's comments on the DOJ's concerns over the impact of the consolidation on content creators and workers, not just consumers. Last year, the DOJ successfully challenged the proposed Penguin Random House merger, which was another merger of a similar nature, which is to do with the Penguin publisher. I'm sure some of you guys have read their books. And so after review, they actually kind of forced those companies to abandon their transaction. Obviously, this merger has gone through, so they can't necessarily reverse it, but they can investigate the way that they have been treating their employees and the effects that the merger has had. So they argue that the merger has led to the hollowing out of an American studio. Also, the lawmakers cited the cancellation of projects and the removal of content from the HBO Max platform. They wrote that audiences will never see such projects like Batgirl, a $90 million film that was cancelled while deep into post-production, despite consumer outcry reportedly to allow WBD to claim a tax break. A Warner Bros. Discovery spokesperson declined to comment. The company is not unique in embarking on recent mass layoffs. Disney last month started the process of cutting 7,000 workers from its workforce and amid a retrenchment in streaming, other platforms including Netflix have been cancelling projects and series. The cancellation of Batgirl got huge attention last August, leading to some anger in the fan base. Peter Safran, the new co-CEO of DC Studios, said in February that the movie was not releasable at this point. And that's most definitely because they've deleted most of the footage, if not all of the footage, and so that's why it's not releasable at any point soon. 
but the lawmakers also referred to the plans to raise the cost of HBO Max. They are quoted as saying, currently the plan for the combined streaming service is to keep an ad supported plan at $10 and an ad free plan between $15 to $16 a month. However, WBD is offering a premium plan for consumers that will cost $20 a month for viewers who want to view HBO signature shows in a high quality as possible. This leaves questions unanswered about whether a lower price platform will have reduced quality from the current product while consumers are paying the same price and lack the transparency necessary to fully evaluate the plans and their relative prices. So there you have it, that is the article. We're going to break it down now and I also have to mention Warner Bros Discovery actually released their plan for the new restructured HBO Max that they're doing. I talked about this the other day. They are renaming it to Max. It's a combination of HBO Max and Discovery, their own streaming platform. Obviously, the two companies merged, so that's why their streaming services are merging. And so they've announced that they're going to call it Max. They're going to be working on like a new Harry Potter show, some new Rick and Morty stuff. There's also going to be the DC shows that James Gunn and Peter Safran are working on. But what the lawmakers point out, which is very true, is the current pricing scheme. When I saw it the other day, I was like, huh, this is weird. Like, you can get a low kind of $10 price, but it's going to be low quality and it's going to have adverts on it. And then they up it to 15 for the next one. And then they up it to 20 if you want, you know, like 4K streaming and to be able to view everything in the way that it's actually intended to be viewing. It's kind of ridiculous if you ask me. So even though I'm a big fan of Warner Bros content, you guys know I'm a huge DC Harry Potter fan. Like there is many projects I've loved that they've developed. I have to agree with the lawmakers here. Like I think what they're doing and what they've done since they've taken over and this merger has gone through honestly isn't very upstanding and I agree that it's definitely detrimental to the workforce because loads of people have been let go and also this is not good for consumers because they are restructuring their streaming service and making it more expensive to view literally how people are supposed to view this content like they're saying okay you can watch it in low quality pay less and have adverts and that's the only way you're gonna do it if you're not able to afford $20 on one streaming service when everyone else has like at least two or three other streaming services that they pay for every month. So I think this is actually warranted by these lawmakers and low key I'm actually kind of happy that this has been brought up because I do think it's very true like the way this merger has impacted different people in different ways is obviously not a good thing and they cite the Batgirl film like it's 80 million dollars and they have finished filming the film, they had so many people working so many hours on the film, and they just want to see it released, and Warner Bros. Discovery didn't care about that. They saw the film, they were like, okay, this is maybe not good enough, and they didn't even give them, like, a second chance. They are like, nope, let's scrap the film, let's claim back in tax break, and get this money back, and I honestly don't think that is good business practice. That seems shady to me. And so I think this is kind of warranted just based on their actions. And I think everything that they introduce in this letter actually is very viable. I don't think there is going to be any kind of big changes at Warner Brothers because of this. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention, guys, because I think something similar like this could totally happen to CW and what they've been doing. Because since Nexstar has taken over, they basically cut off all of the shows. And all of the workforce up in Vancouver that has been working on these CW shows for years are basically being thrown away. And I think it's a very similar circumstance to what is shown here with Warner Bros. Discovery. Obviously, Warner Bros. does have a stake in the CW, but they are not the people in charge and they're not the reason for this merger. Despite the fact that they did sell their majority of shares, that's just something that if they wanted to do because, yes, the CW wasn't profitable. But I think actually it's the main problem is with Nexstar because they've come in, they've been like, no, we don't like what you're doing, so let's change everything. And that's literally what Discovery did when they took over and they merged with Warner Brothers. They were like, okay, no, we don't like that. We don't like that. We don't like that. So screw you guys. We're going to do what we want to do. So basically what I'm saying here, this is kind of precedent for other streaming services 
TV platforms and film studios to actually be questioned about their practices. I think it's way too often that they go unchallenged and so it's good to see someone finally challenging them by looking at the impact that it's had on the workers but also the consumers. Like the consumers is a huge thing. Like imagine what it's going to be like on the consumers of say the CW shows we're all going to go away. Like, we're not going to watch the CW anymore. That's a big impact on consumers. And same thing goes for the workforce up in Vancouver. They're going to have different jobs or they're going to struggle to get new jobs if there's less CW shows because they populated so much of the Vancouver filming scene. Yes, they can go out and get more jobs. Yes, there's more shows and films filming in Vancouver but it's still going to have a big effect on those people and so in the case of this Warner Brothers isn't just in one location it's all over America it's in Canada it's in the UK they're in various countries shooting different projects and if they continue to axe more projects they're still going to get more and more questions like this and obviously a big example of that was Batgirl but more prominently the shutdown of CNN Plus which was a new big streaming platform that they planned to release and obviously it was pretty much a failure so they had to cut that and basically that's many many jobs down the drain and that obviously is not good for your workforce and just the way that they've gone through all of this it's very cutthroat and I feel like that is the main reason why it caught the attention of these lawmakers because it's just not standard to go in and cut things left, right and center at such a fast rate. Like, yeah, maybe over time, but like cutting an entire film or cutting an entire streaming service and going on to do more cuts, taking away lots of people at CNN and lots of people in different various roles within Warner Brothers, but also the changes on HBO Max and how they're removing tons of projects from there and basically taking away the livelihoods of some people that work on those shows or benefit from having their shows up there. It's all about money guys and that's literally pretty much where I want to end this video because I don't really have anything else to say apart from the fact that this is definitely going to affect the future of film studios, streaming services and TV networks because people are watching, people are more attached than ever and I think that goes to show by the fact that these lawmakers have taken time out of their days to investigate the practices at Warner Bros Discovery and actually bring it up and try and get it to the attention of the DOJ in America. But that pretty much does it for this video guys, if you like this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment, it would really help out the channel if you do that. Also subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Also remember tonight Superman Lois is on, I'm going to have my review slash breakdown out for that later tonight right after it finishes airing. So for now click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I will catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.